Supernatural Season 13, Episode 18, Bring Them Back Alive. So this episode was definitely um, full of way more content than I was expecting. I thought it was just going to be like, okay, cool, we're going to have you know, the other side, we're going to get to see what's going on with Dean, we're going to see, you know, him teaming up with Ketch and their journey trying to find Mary and Jack and, you know, just whatever ends up coming to that. And then it was going to be, all right, well, on the other side of that, we just have Sam and Cass talking to Gabriel, trying to, you know, get him back into the fold. And then it was like, yeah, we got those two things. Um, it turns out we have uh, alternate version uh, Charlie over there, so that was cool. And then we also have Osmodeus as a part of the Gabriel storyline. And we still had... Um, the Lucifer stuff, Lucifer in Heaven, and I totally can't remember uh, the actual character of Daniel Ackles' character. I, I can't think of her name right now, but you know, both of them are back, so I was like, well, this episode had way more than I was expecting, which is really great. I mean, we got to see some stuff from the other side. Unfortunately, that didn't really lead to too much outside of kind of the suspense of what the heck they're going to be able to do now, because the two stories, of course, by the end of the episode end up coming together, where it's like, all right, well, we have Dean and Ketch over there, they have 24 hours, naturally, that doesn't succeed, they get a little bit of extra information, but ultimately, they save the other version of Charlie, and then they get back to the portal, and Charlie decides, you know, these are my people on this planet, in this dimension, so I'm gonna stay here, Ketch is like, well, I should stay here too, because if we both go, then we'll be at square one again, we'll have literally no information, so you guys come back, eventually, I'll know you started here at least, and then, you know, we can meet up, and then I'll actually have some extra information for when you decide, you know, you've rallied the troops, and all of you guys are going to come this way, so then, of course, we get to the end of that, and it's like, well, we can't go back anymore, unless Gabriel decides, yeah, sure, I'll help out, but he doesn't care, like, you know, they help him out, they give him his grace back, which was kind of what they needed, was the archangel grace, so give him his grace back and he comes back in the perfect way of course because you know sam's going through the whole story it's like you know my fake death again so i went to i did what anyone would do which was i went to morocco and had sex with porn stars which is super funny and so of course sam's going through it's like i know you went there and had sex with uh, hookers and then it's like of course that's what kind of brought him out of it it was like they weren't hookers they were porn stars um but of course him kind of igniting his power and everything and kind of getting back in control is exactly what led Osmodeus to him. Like, as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, crap. And then, of course, Osmodeus comes along. And they do talk about in this episode, uh, I think it was what I mentioned in my last review, which was Osmodeus was only powerful because he'd end up capturing Gabriel, and that's exactly why he was so strong. So they have that connection. Once he senses that power, he's like, all right, well, I'm just going to call Sam. And it's like, you know, give you guys a threat here. You'll return them, no harm, no foul. If not, I will, you know, basically come down upon your bunker and destroy you all. And I feel like that was a catch thing. Cause I, when he first said, it, I was like, he knows where the bunker is. And that surprised me. And I was like, oh yeah, catch. Like he did that. Um, at least if I remember correctly, it was catch. Cause he was still doing like the, you know, both sides thing. So it's like, all right, well, now they're going to get attacked. And they do get attacked, of course, uh, you know, no issues there initially. You know, Sam and Cass, it's like, all right, so, you know, here's some demons, you know, boom, stab one. Uh, we got to see Cass, you know, um, just light up one of the other demons. And it was like, well, that, that's always pretty cool to me. I don't know why. I just always love when he does that. So it's like, sweet. Then, you know, they beat them up. But, of course, Asmodeus comes along, launches into the side. And it's like, well, I'm going to destroy you both. Take Gabriel and get out of here. But Gabriel's, you know completely in control he heals himself by the end you know they do the wings which we haven't seen in a minute uh or it was probably last season i feel like they do that at least once a season just to be sure um but you know we see him because full wings and everything and they kill osmodeus and i was like well there we go because i've been saying pretty much this whole season like we got like three different things going on like they got like are they just gonna not kill somebody are they gonna kill somebody are they just gonna leave you know the other dimension separate until next season and it was like we still got three big bad villains going on how is this going to play out? So, of course, Gabriel having his power, he kind of shrinks that down to two again. So now we're back to just Lucifer and alternate uh, Michael. But that was awesome. And, you know, of course, he does where he's like, you know, I've always hated that suit. And he just destroys him. Like, he just roasts him. And is like, all right, I'm out of here. Um, great chit chat. Thanks for the power. Thanks for bringing me back. Um, you know, dad left you guys, so I can do it again. And I'm pretty sure, you know, you, you know, I have faith in you because the last time the world was at stake. You know, I put all my bets on you guys, and I'm sure you got it covered. So he takes off, and it was just like, that sucks. That would have been cool to see Gabriel actually join them, like, officially. I think that would have been really sweet, but it also fits his character. Like, it's just like, yeah, I don't want to do that. And also, this is, like, the first time we've really seen him actually be in trouble. So it's just one of those things where it's just like, 
all right, you know, that's, I, I guess it just makes sense. I mean, that's his thing. He's all, I mean, obviously he was initially just Loki slash the trickster. He was, he's always been in it for himself the entire series. That's like the, that's literally his character. He's just in it for himself. So it makes sense that he would leave. And it's just like, oh, it kind of sucks though. Like we, you know, I mean, every, you know, every season, every new thing is the worst thing. So it's just like, yeah, it could have helped though, but he left. So now they have no Archangel Grace. He might make a return, but that probably won't be for a minute, depending on how many episodes we have left. So yeah, we got to be close to the end. So I don't know how they're going to end up doing it, but he takes off. Dean comes back and it's, that was a great ending. I love the way they ended it with Dean just being so upset where it's just like, we couldn't find anything there. Gabriel comes back, kills Osmodeus. Like everything seems like it's on an uptake. It was like, you know, that sucked on the other side, but you know, Gabriel's cool. He's on our team. We can go back. We got, you know, we could take Gabriel with us to the other side, all these other possibilities. And then it just comes crashing down. Like, no, we got him back and he killed Osmodeus, but we lost his grace and him. And now there's nothing. So definitely a great way to, a great emotional way to kind of end it off where it was like, there's a lot of, ha a lot of stuff happening in this episode. Um, Lucifer's storyline was pretty good too with him trying to figure out his place as like new God, I guess. So that was definitely something we find out that he can't actually give angels their wings back. He can't make more angels. He kind of lied about all that stuff. He loses the one ally that he actually had, who is also the only source of his power. So just like Osmodeus had Gabriel, he had her and it's like, well, now he's got nothing, but of course, you know, you know, red eyes and everyone will be like, all right, well, I'm out of here. Um, so I don't know where that's headed. Although I loved him when he went to like the exorcism. That was really funny. That was like, that was probably my favorite scene as far as comedy. And he goes and he's, you know, he shows up and then the demon's just like, oh crap. Like, oh, I guess I'm busted. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, just having some fun. And I love when he's like, you know, he snaps his finger and uh gets him out and he waves him and he like kicks the smoke like get out of here like you know being stupid and then of course you know the priests are it, it's lucifer so they're mad and he's just like all right all right and then he does his thing and it's just well oops and you know he kills more people so he's trying to find his image as like good or maybe not good but new god and that doesn't really work he's lucifer he does his thing he's mad at people he chokes out like like the one ally that he actually has and she takes off so now he's once again just left alone and he doesn't really have any chips. Like if they find out anything, if she decides to betray him, he's kind of got nothing. Like he's just going to get weaker by the second with her being gone, unless he just brings in, you know, which he easily could do. Um, he could just bring in another angel to do it and say like, all right, well, I have enough power to kill you now. So help me or, you know, I'll just kill you now and then get someone else and, you know, eventually the trick will work. So... I don't know what they're going to do with that, but excuse me. Now we're down to two main villains, but really good episode. Like it was just chock full of stuff that I wasn't expecting. Like they had, like I said, all the stuff, you know, the Osmodeus thing, I thought that would be, you know, separate. It would just be Gabriel's storyline. And then eventually they would get back to Osmodeus. I certainly didn't expect them to actually like, you know, kill the guy. Like I was just really shocked by that. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess he won't be bringing out like those crazy demons that he was trying to bring out at the beginning of the season but eventually those will have to come back because they introduced him and he almost had him summoned by jack and it didn't work maybe they'll still have to use that on gabriel because lucifer will still be too weak so they might just have to bring out like some crazy wild super demons and it's like all right well you know they that's how they do it so should be interesting going forward but i definitely love this episode of course would love to know what you guys thought about it so please comment below let me know your favorite parts about it least favorite parts about it and of course with gabriel gone no archangel grace whatsoever i would love to know your predictions i mean it's crazy but it wouldn't be the weirdest thing if they ended up teaming up with lucifer because they needed like some very powerful grace to get back to the other side he wants his son back they want their mom back I don't know. I just feel like that might be where we're headed. Unless Gabriel just comes back in the next couple of episodes, they might end up running into Lucifer and teaming up, which is nuts. But th at some point, you team up with everybody in this show. Like That's just how it goes. No matter how villainous they are, unless they end up dying super early, uh, like we saw Um unless they end up dying super fast, they typically end up teaming up with the Winchesters at some point. That's just how the show goes. But I don't know. And they've already technically done that anyway. So let's do it again. Um, but it should be something. It should definitely be something to see just all in all how that crap ends up playing out. But I, I can't wait to see because it seems like it's getting just crazier and crazier. And it seems like they're back at square one. But 
they're not it, like there's always something extra right around the corner so i'm definitely looking forward to it but like i said want to know what you guys thought about this episode and definitely want to know your predictions um for where things are headed now that they they're seemingly back at square one i would love to know where you guys think it's headed next so please put your comments down in the comment section below and of course thanks for watching